Chapter 6, Lecture 1, we're going to be looking at models. Mod what models do, they bring order and understanding to lots of data. What a model does, it really provides a frame of reference. They also are going to show variability. And basically, what it is is a picture that we're going to get from the sample. And what it's going to do is tell us about our population. So in order to draw these, we need to understand a little bit about a density function. And all a density function is, it's just a curve. So it's going to be drawn over the tops of the histogram. So here's an example of a histogram. If I look, the frequency, or how often, is labeled. So the frequency is 10, where this is 2, 5, and 3. Oftentimes, we don't just show frequency. We want to so show the relative frequency or the percent. So converting this, this would be 20% if it was out of 10. This would be 5 out of 10 or 50%. And the third one would be 30%. Notice they add to 100% because all of my data is included. And what's going to happen here is the area, the space, or this 30%, is going to correspond with this word called probability, which we'll be discussing later. Now, if we look and draw over the tops of these histograms, we kind of try to hit right in the middle. And we try to just draw a smooth curve. This curve looks fairly symmetric. And so what we're going to be looking at is the distribution and the variability. So if you look at the variability there, everything's tight. The variability isn't very large. Just a review of the distributions that we're going to be studying. First is symmetric. That's that bell shape. And if this was height, 50% of the people would fall on the right. 50% of the people would fall on the left of the center, which in this case is mean, median, and mode. So if you were at a doctor's office and you fell in here with the curve, he would say that you are taller than average. If you fell in this position on the curve, you'd be about average. And over here, you would be shorter than average. Let's look at a curve that is skewed right. If you recall from the last lectures in chapter 5, skewed right has a tail on the right, and that's because the mean is pulled to the right. So this might be cholesterol level. On average, we should have 170. Now, that average is the mode in this case. Could also be the median if we scooched it a little bit to the right. So let's suppose that you fell in this region and your cholesterol was 300. If you notice, the probability of the percent of people that have a cholesterol 300 is far away from the center, so it would be high. So the doctor would say, well, your cholesterol is 300, normal is 170, you're on the high end. So this is just giving us that frame of reference. If we go the other way, skew left, the tail's on our left. This might be class sizes. We might have some very small classes, but most of our classes are on this side here where the peak is at. And the last distribution is uniform. And just as the word says, it's uniform. It's from A to B, the same height all the way across. Now, these work for what we call continuous data. And if you recall the continuous data, let's go back and look at the example for height. I could be in any one of these positions. If you measure my height, it's a measurement. If it's a discrete distribution, meaning the values are countable, 
going to look like a little bit different. It's going to be these bars that jet up. And notice it's either at 1, 2, 3, and so forth. It becomes continuous when you have a whole bunch of data, not just when you have a, a very few to plot. So discrete can become continuous when you have lots. So let's look at the let's do it. If you look at this curve, the first question, what proportion lasts longer than six years? So it's a frame of reference. Well, here's six years. What percent is on this side? Well, if you total them up, there are 94% in this region. So there are 6% that would be above or greater than six years. What proportion lasts longer than one year? Well, one year is in this position, and that's 39%. So 61% lasts longer than one year. This graph is skewed and is skewed right. Why is it skewed right? The values on this side will pull my mean to the right, make it a little bit larger. And where would my median be in here? It looks like if I kind of looked at the height of these and section them off, where would the two heights be the same? About in this region, about at two years. So that concludes the first lecture for Chapter 6.